Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. Uh, at 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away two free readings. I'm very close. Um, if you do want in on that, just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment and you're in the running. I also want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings with me. It all helps, and I'm very grateful. We've got pile number one with the time, pile number two with the bell, pile number three with the Egyptian bracelet, pile number four with the butterfly, and today we're asking, how do others see you? So take a moment, pick which one feels right for you. Gonna move on to our gorgeous pile number ones. So, <laughs> pile number one. How do others see you? So, you had the clock. How do others see you? Seven of Pentacles. Page of Cups, The Lovers, The Magician. I, f I feel like people see you as somebody who's invested a lot of time and energy. That you are somebody with kind words. With the lovers and the magician, so with the magician, people definitely see you as somebody that is able to create your reality. Like people see you as highly competent. They know that whatever, whatever is in your way that you're going to handle it. They just know that you're going to handle it. With the lovers, you definitely could have a lot of people who love you, or, I mean, you could have put a lot of time, energy, and effort in love. But the lovers is a choice. Tell me more about this lovers, please. Ten of pentacles. Like, you, you really want to invest in love, and you really want to have long-term, stable, steady, and happy relationships. And you've put a lot of effort into making that happen. And you have dealt with disappointment. Are you the king of pentacles? I don't know if this is a specific person for you or just in general. Like, I feel like you truly, um, either you've invested in somebody that's very steady, stable, and reliable, but I feel like you you're waiting for this person a lot of you you're waiting for somebody who is worth investing in because you have a lot of love to give so empress people see you as somebody that you know you're the empress and the magician so you have you know you're intelligent you're grounded you're inspired your your heart is beautiful so like you you're somebody who people see you as somebody who truly Well, I know that not all of you are women, but I just started hearing I am every woman, uh, you know. Um, so regardless of, you know, what your actual gender is, you're somebody that you just represent so much. Like you, you have, you have so much to give. And I feel like it's like you have so much to give. You've had disappointment. You put a lot of effort, but it's like you're waiting for the person who's worth that investment. You see, people see you as that. So people see you 
moving away from chaos and drama. And I feel like you're, you're forging, you know, you're forging forward. So people feel like, again, you have all the elements at your disposal. You're going through this big transformation right now. But regardless of that, I mean, you could, be, you're probably somebody that shows people that you care about them, but I feel like you're, you're moving forward with your heart and you're moving forward with your energy. Um, and you're moving away from drama. You're moving, you know, you're, you're making any changes that you need to make and you're ending anything that inevitably is going to end anyways. Um, King of Cups. Some of you might be ending it with somebody that you love. It may not be for all of you, but some of you are ending it with somebody that maybe wasn't, uh, wasn't letting you know about their feelings. Because you are going to have, you know, you have a choice. And while you're a loving person, like, you want the steady and stable and long-term situation. So some of you are walking away from somebody. There might be love, but it's just whatever it is. Like, it can't happen without transformation. Let love in. I feel like you guys... You appear to be somebody who's really letting, you know, love in. You you seem to be somebody who's love focused. You're somebody who definitely has their own value and quality. Um, and you're only taking integrity. So people see you as somebody who's very strong. Basically, you as, as somebody who has everything to have a wonderful relation and I feel like if there's anything if there's anybody that hasn't chosen you you're ready to move on because you're going to get your happily ever after I do have the frowny face and I have the frowny face and the and the five of cups so you guys might be going through some kind of loss right now or people see you going through some kind of loss, and you feel like, you know, regardless of how much value you have, you know, people do recognize that you may not be happy at the moment. Again, a heartbreak. But, and two, two is about decisions, just like the lovers is. So I feel like, uh, People, others see you as somebody who's made some kind of, a decision. And I feel like people see you as somebody who's made a decision towards your ultimate long-term happiness and stability. So people see you moving ahead with passion. Um, people feel like you're healing. You definitely have this calm. Um, and people are really being able to see how special, unique, and beautiful you are. But it's step by step going forward. But all you're doing is moving more into who you are in your most genuine like people very much see your genuineness. People very much feel like they're seeing you and that you're just being who you are and who you are is awesome. So with Yoda and the heart, again, you are using wisdom in your heart space. Um, you're, yeah, you're very emotionally intelligent. Um, and you are definitely 
being moved by the wisdom of your heart. So overall, um, people think that you're awesome. Like you have the Empress, which has, you know, which is highly evolved, highly creative, highly uh, nurturing, very kind. And you have the magician, which can manifest whatever you want. So I think that people see you as being able to get whoever you want and get whatever you want. Um, and people very much feel this way because of who you are. So regardless of how you feel about you, other people have an astounding amount of faith in you. And a lot of people feel that you're moving on from something difficult and you're, you know, yeah, whatever it is, you're moving on from something difficult. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person, but you're moving on um, to get what you really want. And you're, you're definitely not letting anybody be in the way of that. So I want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. It's all appreciated. At 5,000 subscribers, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm very, very close. <laughs> So make sure that you're subscribed and you comment and you're in the running for that. Let's move on to pile two with the bell. So this bell is an antique ambulance bell. And it's got a beautiful tone. How do others feel about you? How do others feel about you? Five of cups. How do others feel about you? Page of Cups, Three of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. This is very interesting. So we've got the Page of Cups and the Three of Cups, as well as the Five of Cups. There are three figures in both of these. And with the Five of Cups, the Three of Cups has fallen over. So I feel like people see you in a lot of disappointment. And again, this is how others see you, but I feel like some people feel like a lot of this disappointment may have been of your own doing, um, not taking things seriously enough, maybe being emotionally immature. Again, this, you know, this isn't necessarily you, but this is how you're perceived. Um, but they, but I, I get the feeling that a lot of people think that you're experiencing bad luck because of decisions that you've made. How do others see you? Three of Cups. There's, there's this aspect of maybe frivolousness or maybe like partying or it, there could be the there's a lot of there's a lot of um emphasis on a good time um but there's a lot, you know, and if it was just by itself, you know, the three of cups is not alone a, you know, not a difficult card by itself, but there's with the three and the five and the other three, some of you might be involved in some kind of three party situation. Um, King of cups. 
Are you the King of Cups? I'm going to get more clarity on the King of Cups, but I'm going to move forward. Because I'm, I'm definitely getting p people feel that you're more in the Page of Cups, more run by your desires um, than being in charge of them. With the Hanged Man, um, they feel like this has caused you to be stuck. And justice. It's like there was needing to be some sort of balance. Justice is the universe putting things in balance, um, as well as you know, it can have to do with you know, it can have to do with you know the justice system and can have to do with legalities, but in its most um, in its most um, abstract and greatest form, it is about the universe creating equilibrium again. So with this, with this King of Cups, are you the King of Cups? Is somebody else the King of Cups? Is the King of Cups a love interest? Is the King of Cups of like a family member? Is the King of Cups somebody you work with? Ooh, tell me more about this King of Cups. Three of Swords. Like there's been some heartbreak. Um, and there's been some heartbreak with somebody um, that may have had a lot of emotional investment in you. Uh, and it might directly, again, Three, 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 it might have directly had to do with third party situations. Oh, I'm sorry, three, 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 three. And disappointment because of this third party. So there's, if, if you don't feel like this is you, or maybe this is how you feel about somebody else, you know, let me know. Um, but there is. But there's a lot of feeling like you may not have taken something very important seriously and that things went bad because of it. And unfortunately, you are in a place of stasis because of it. And, you know, somebody got broken hearted because of it. And that is a result of the universe equalizing because, you know, again, there was this opportunity to invest in the two of cups, which would be equal love. Um, and I feel like there was a choice not to. Again, some of you might say that this is about somebody you know. But how do other people, how do others feel about you? Come on. There we go. Ace of Pentacles. People feel like you could start over. Like, you know, you've had things fall apart because maybe your priorities were whacked. But, you know, this is not, you know, you could still... Instead of concentrating on what's not important, change your concentration into what can work out for you. Make a new stable beginning and that you can win. But the, people see that that stability is going to be based off of you making a real choice to move forward. And cut out anything that isn't in your best interest. Again, like not everybody, this third party might not have, you know, sometimes a third party is not a person. Um, sometimes, you know, a third party, you could be putting all your time and energy into, you know, just things that don't have the potential to pay off. 
maybe something that's just enjoyable. Like maybe it could be shopping too much. Like it could be, but there's something that you, that didn't matter that you put time and energy in it and it didn't last and it didn't, uh, doesn't make you happy. Be careful what you wish for. Your thoughts become prayers and the universe only knows how to say yes. I feel a lot of people feel like you kind of got what you wished for. It's just you didn't realize that what you'd get. It's like you wanted this less serious, like, you know, thing or whatever it was. Um, and you got it. Um, and you got justice, uh, but the thing is you, you, you kept on, it's like you, a lot, it feels like a lot of you, or at least in these people's eyes, you got what you wanted, but you didn't get what was healthy or good for you. You didn't actually get what you needed. But people feel like, you know, you can just learn from this, make better decisions and clearer decisions, choose to move forward, choose to, choose to invest in the solid instead of the frivolous and overcome. Start putting your time and energy into what matters. So people, a lot of people, it, uh, if this resonates with you, a lot of people think that truly if you want your life to change, you just need to change your priorities. But people acknowledge that you're dealing with heartbreak and you may be dealing with heartbreak because of choices that you made, or at least that's what it seems to other people. Um, but that, you know, it's like you can move forward. Um, uh, people think that, you know, clarity is just going to move you forward. It's like, nobody thinks that you can't come back from what you've done. If, if you haven't made the right decisions, it's just, you have uh, people see that you might need to make different decisions to have more happiness. So do people see, it's like people, I think that people want you to look at things. Um, people want you to exhibit self-control. Um, people want you to, instead of paying attention to what's just enjoyable, paying attention to what can have longevity. Because people still see you being able to win and you being able to become this more evolved, smarter person. So I feel like people do see that you can grow and change and learn. Um, and they do feel like you should connect, that you should continue to put um, your time and energy into things and people that you love. And people see healing for you. But there is a need to, you know, step by step move forward. But I feel like you moving forward, it's like you moving forward and making new and better decisions. It's, you know, some of you have a connection to the United Kingdom, but you moving forward and making better decisions is, is, is going to help more than just you. It's going to help other people move forward as well. So that's how people see you. I hope that this helps you. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers and I'm really close. So if you do want one, make sure you're subscribed and you comment and you're in the running. We're going to move. And let's take these down. So I feel like people do think that you're going through you're going through difficulty due to some decisions that they don't think were very bright, but they also feel like you can just make different decisions and things are going to work out for you. 
So whether that's true or not, let me know. Uh, if this doesn't feel like your pile, definitely pick another one or another reading and soul good. We're going to move on to our gorgeous pile number three. Hello, pile number three. You have the Egyptian bracelet. So how do others see you? King of Pentacles. Steady, stable, reliable. Somebody who doesn't put up with anything that's not acceptable. Maybe somebody who's got some street smarts. But what you clearly have is standards. Got some street smarts, some standards. Um, you And one of those standards is... There's got to be equal give and take. Um, you are somebody who's generous. I mean, you are somebody who's caring, but you're paying attention to see. It's like not, people don't necessarily have to give to you the same way, but you know, you're keeping an eye out to see who shows up for you and who doesn't. With the Queen of Wands. Feel like these two are definitely you because I'm, I'm not about uh, gender it's just about energy but I feel like you may have somebody that you have a great deal of desire for interesting because this is about how other people see you so maybe maybe people see that you have some you know great deal of desire for somebody um, page of Pentacles Um, and if that's the case, some people feel like you should offer them something. Um, but that you have this, but you have, you have some kind of mental conflict and that mental conflict causes you to hold back. Um, but other people feel like you're holding back from, from getting abundance, um, from getting, uh, long-term stability. And I feel like it's a little mystifying why you're holding back. Um, because it's obvious you have feelings. Again, this is somebody, you know, these are people that are outside you and they may not know 100% of what's going on. But there are certainly people who are kind of don't understand why you're so confused and holding back. And, you know, why you're withholding from something that seems to be obvious um but it may have to do for to with some kind of need for healing on your part people are feeling like you need to heal but i feel like they it, it i don't know why people feel like you know like you have a lot of, to give and you have the street smarts and you're looking to see who will give back to you. And I feel like there's somebody that's clearly, you know, like, it's almost like you can't conceive of getting a good deal. You can't conceive of somebody giving you possibly even more than you expected. So, there's some kind of withholding of the emotions and mental conflict, but there's emotion involved. I didn't mean this to become a love reading, but maybe it's not a love reading. Maybe like, maybe you're just being offered something that's really good, 
but a part of you, you know, is so conflicted that you can't accept it. Or at least that's what it seems like to people. So as a result, you seem very confused. Um, emperor, are you the emperor? I feel like this level of confusion is keeping you from being the, you know, you're already somebody that's highly evolved, but it's actually keeping you like not, it's like you don't believe the opportunities that's in front of you and it's keeping you from being this, it's keeping you from being the most strong version of yourself, really. I feel like people really want you I think, you know, in conjunction with these, I, I could say that you're calm, but I'm not really getting that. I'm getting that people feel like, you know, once you're able to even yourself out emotionally, two, two, two is on the clock, that you're not, you're going to become this more strong version and you're going to be able to accept the abundance that is in front of you. So whether this is a money opportunity, and if so, it's a really big money opportunity, or if it's a, you know, it's like you're, this is reading as somebody who's get, having, you know, getting offered everything that they want and is confused about taking it. Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like to, to, other people, at least, that's what it seems like. So um, people see you as maybe needing healing, maybe needing to even out emotionally so you can move forward to solidify your long-term legacy and happiness, whether it's with somebody or whether it's, it's towards something you truly desire and it's something that you can do. So it's, it, it feels like to other people that you're only not acting on this uh, due to some kind of fear and confusion, but it's like there's not a lot of downside. So, you know, people want you to speak up for what you want and go after what you want, whether it's a person or whether it is um, financial, but whatever it is, it's it just, I'm getting like more that it just feels like to people that you're, you're being offered more than you expected and you're not taking it. So I feel like people want you to just be grateful for what, uh, you know, like people want you to just say thank you and take it rather than, you know, keep questioning it. So. Whether or not people know everything going on with you or not, that is how they are seeing you right now. But they're seeing you having access to what you want, having the ability to make it happen. Um, maybe even being offered it. Um, and I feel like people, you know, want you to take what you want. Like people want you to have that long-term stability, longevity, legacy that's meant for you. It's like, it's kind of, what are you waiting for? Excuse me. So we're gonna move on to pile number four. I want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, 
booking readings. It all matters. And I really appreciate you. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving two uh, as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment and you're in the running for that. I am super close right now. Um, we're going to move on to our gorgeous pile number four. My gorgeous and talented pile number four is with the butterflies, my beautiful butterfly. How do others see you? Ten of swords. Page of cups. People see uh, the magician. And the fool. People uh, see you as having gone through really difficult and painful times, but they see you beginning to emotionally start over. And you have, they see you as somebody who's brave, who's, um, Willing to move forward even if you don't know what's in front of you. But quite frankly, you uh, they see you as somebody that, you know, has left behind a lot of pain and suffering. Um, and that you are somebody who's truly in control of your life. Somebody who truly knows that you can... Create the life that you want. So people see you as somebody who came from a lot of difficulty, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. Literally, you're, you know, you've come out of the cocoon and you have become the butterfly. You are now free to fly. I think that there might even be a butterfly in this. Yes, there are butterflies in this card. But the fool is the zero point of of all possibility. Good things, bad things can happen, but at least it's it's moving forward and it's being brave. The magician, like all tens are endings. So you've gone through an en endings or an ending, but whatever it was, it was really not pleasant. But you're not letting um, people see you as somebody that doesn't let the pain and unpleasantness keep you down, that you are somebody that is in control of all of the elements, that you can create whatever you want. People are confident that you're capable of creating whatever you want. How do others see you, pile number four? Judgment. Again, you've... Um, You've really been through the crucible, um, you, uh, but you've already been reborn. You've taken all the pain and suffering that has been thrown at you and you've learned, you've grown, and you left it behind. And you kind of left it behind because you're, a lot of you, a lot of you, have been guided by some kind of higher power. A guide, you know, like you've got, like a lot of you don't particularly feel blessed because you've gone through a lot of pain. Like, so I'm not going to discount your pain, but I feel like you've been helped along your path. With the Knight of Swords, yeah, you're you're all about forward energies. You are dealing with like the Page of Cups is young and new. You might not be young, but I feel like you're 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 dealing with maybe different things than you've ever dealt, had to deal with before, emotion wise. You're you know you're not looking back into the past at all. You're just moving forward. You're manifesting what you want. Uh, and as a result, as a result of 
maybe looking at anything in the past so that you don't have to relive those cycles. You're actually moving forward a lot. And again, you may be moving forward into the unknown. I feel like um, you guys are moving forward to the unknown. People see you as moving forward into the unknown. Uh, but you don't really have much doubt about moving into the unknown because you know it's not where you came from. It's kind of like anything is going to be better. It's 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 kind of like you have a a certain amount of bravery from knowing that you're never going back. So the three of cups. The three of cups can be a lack of seriousness. It can be a reunion. It can be uh having fun I feel like you're definitely not somebody I'm getting because I'm not getting that you're somebody like you may have levity um and you're definitely being brave but I I don't see you as somebody who doesn't take things seriously why is this three of cups here nine of Some of you may have taken your, uh, may, as some of you might be, instead of putting your yourself in the hands of people who may not take you seriously, a lot of you are taking your happiness into your own hands. And I feel like people have been careless with your happiness. Um, but that's not really an issue for you anymore because you're moving forward and you're going to make yourself happy. Uh, nine of, nine of one. So some of you are very defensive. Maybe some of you are becoming closed off. I'm not really getting that though. I feel like you have really genuinely gone through a lot of unpleasantness, you know, maybe people betraying you. So people see you as a fighter. Yeah, people see you as a fighter. People see you as... I feel like you fought right through to the Ten of Swords and once that was ha uh, done, even though you didn't know what was in front of you, you just moved forward and started manifesting what was for you, you know, fulfilling your own wishes. So people see you, people see you as tough, definitely tough, definitely strong. Um, people see you as somebody who's fair. Uh, and if you've moved away from people, um, people see that as fair too. Like, um, because you didn't move away from anybody who was treating you in the way that you needed to be treated. You definitely moved away from people who betrayed your trust, though. Because uh, you seem to be aware that you can create your reality. Uh, and you're somebody who's loving, caring, um... If if you're female, you're very feminine. Um, if you're male, you're you're still this ultra creative, ultra nurturing, ultra powerful person. So people see you as having gone through a lot of disappointment, but At the same time, they see you as this powerful person who's moving forward, even if they don't know what's going to happen, um, to create your own wish fulfillment. So people see you as somebody. People see you as somebody that's highly motivated, um, who, you know, you may not know where you're going, but you know that you're going towards better. Uh, and you're making it happen. Again, you've definitely dealt with heartache and disappointments. 
Um, people are really seeing that you're somebody that's very individual, very one of a kind, very beautiful. People see you as very passionate, very responsible. They see you as somebody that is like you're, you're, you'd be a wonderful person to have a relationship with because you really have everything that most anybody could possibly want. Plus, you know, like you do bring a sense of home and comfort to people. So if, again, because some of you have been betrayed and hurt deeply, um, you you need to know that you are very desirable. You are, you know, like you're, you're this amazing, beautiful, strong person who has this, you know, this ability to make people feel really at home. So like none of that was about you, but I feel like you're being brave, very brave. Um, and you're moving forward. Um, even if it's into the dark, because you're not going to stay in betrayal and disappointment. You know that you can make your life better, so you're making your life better. And I feel like you're going to see more and more going forward, but right now, even though you don't know what's in front of you, you know that it's not what's behind you. Uh, and you're just going to get wish fulfillment if you have to make it yourself. So people see you as very smart. Um, people see you as having a lot of vision, um, intelligence. Um, with the London bus, you know, some of you may have some relationship to the United Kingdom or, it, and it could be even be that like with you being brave, like you have a lot of, um, you have a lot of, I don't want to say trend center energy. I want to say like, you're an innovator. You're somebody like you will go into the darkness, not knowing what it is, but knowing that you can manifest in it knowing that you can make your life better, knowing that you are in control of yourself and your destiny. So I feel like that kind of, that kind of courage, um, that kind of strength, I feel like it ultimately is going to move you and other people forward, whether it's just people who see what you do, who see how brave you are, or whether it's by you sharing, you know, how you did it. But um, people see you as worthy. People see that you know you're worthy. People see that you are creating this better life. Um, and a lot of you are creating this better life through just the sheer faith that you can do better, that no matter what you came from, that you can do better. When something is for you, all you will have to be is you to receive it. I feel like that's what you're doing. You're, you're going that anything that ended horribly, you're accepting that that wasn't for you and that you're going to move forward and be the best version of yourself. And what is for you is going to be for you and it's going to show up for you. So a lot of you, again, you're, you're moving in the dark, you're, you're dealing, but you're not, you may be in the dark of what your future is, but you're not without faith. Intuition. Exactly. You're very much following your very strong intuition. And you are following it into wish fulfillment and you are following it into manifesting your life. So people see you as highly intuitive. People see you as not holding on to anything that doesn't want to hold on to you. As getting, whether you have received justice or not, people feel like you're 
making justice for yourself by moving forward onto better things. And you're doing that with courage and you're doing that creating the kind of life that you want because when something's for you, all you're going to have to do is be for you. So you're not, you're not, even though you're a fighter, you're not going to struggle for things that don't want you. You're just going to keep moving on because you're, you know, you may have had disappointment, but you don't need to live there and you're going to make your happiness happen. So people just see you as pretty strong and amazing somebody who makes things happen. Somebody who's gone through this entirely huge transformation. Um, so thank you. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. I'm very close. So just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment and you're in the running for that. I also want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing, and booking readings. It all matters. And I'm very grateful. Thank you to all of you.